Here's problem five. It says the diagrams represent the stripes used to mark parking spaces in a parking lot. Based only on the information given, which diagram could be used to prove that AB, that's this line, is parallel to CD and that the AC is also parallel to this BD. Well, as soon as they give me this, I'm going to come in here and start filling in some angles. I'm going to assume they're all parallel, so let's see what happens. If this is the case, and it wants which diagram would prove that they're parallel, if I have 55 and 125, and this and this are parallel, notice that's 125 and it says that's 125, so you have what right here? We have that old Z Meister. We know that's 125, this is 55, and that's going to prove that obviously this line and this line are parallel. But does it prove at all that this and this are parallel? We have no way of telling what the measurements over here are. We have no relationship to this line's measurements and that guy. He doesn't even have anything on it. So choice A is out. I know from what I have here, if that's 125, that's 55, I have that this guy and this guy are parallel. But I don't have anything proving this and this are parallel. So let's go on to the next piece. Now this actually gives some markings here on this part and this part. Well, if this is 55, what do you and I know this side is? We know this has to be 125 right here. Now, I don't know anything about up here because I don't know that that and that are parallel. I would love if they were, but I don't. So I'm going to fill this in. Now, because of this, I have that and that are corresponding angles. That tells me that this A, B, and C, D are parallel. I know they're parallel. Or these uh, interior angles here, since those, same side of a transversal, consecutive interior angles, since those add up to 180, you know this line and this line are parallel. But do you know anything about this line and that one? No, I don't. I have no clue because I don't know what numbers go up here. So I can't do anything there. So that option's out too. That's not going to prove it. Let's come to B. All right, I have 55 here. So right on this side, I know is 125. I have 55 here, so I know right here is 125. I have 125, so I'll fill this in 55. That's all I know. Those are the only things I'm sure about. Now, Let's see if this A, B, and C, D are parallel. Well, again, the consecutive interior angles, those angles on the interior of these lines, interior, that are on the same side of this transversal, add up to 180. They're supplementary. That means, yes, this and this are parallel. I know that that line and that line are running parallel to one another. The other way is 55 here, 55 there, so they're corresponding, so they're parallel. Now, can I relate that this B, D is parallel up there. Well, look, you have a Z Meister coming down this transversal right here. So that does tell us that this and this are parallel. We have now, this is going to be our option. We have this and this are parallel. AC is parallel to BD. And we have AB is parallel to CD. So the answer is B. Now let's double check that we don't have anything over here on D because sometimes they want you to mark all of them that prove it. This is 55, we got 125 here. I can prove, again, we have a Z Meister here, so I know this BD is parallel to that. But is there any relationship between this CD and this AB? There isn't anything. I can't prove anything. So that's out. The answer to problem number five is B.